<laughs> hey guys, it's Michelle here, the founder of iHelpMoms.com. I always wish you guys could be behind the scenes before we go on. I should probably film before because the conversations with these experts are so amazing and empowering. Today, I have an incredible doula and wellness advocate empowering parents all over the world with us today. So Alex, thanks so much for taking time. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Absolutely. We are all about open minds, open hearts, and supporting parents to be on the journey that they desire and that works best for them. And we find that in that fourth trimester, you know, there's a lot of questions for new parents. And that's where a wellness doula like yourself comes in so huge to provide that support. So one of the most common questions that parents ask is, after birth, my baby is really gassy, uncomfortable, bringing those legs in and out just seems not in a state of ease. Is this normal, Alex? Yes, this is normal because in utero, um, babies are being constantly fed amniotic fluid. And once they're born, they are introduced to a brand new diet, whether that is breastfeeding or whether you choose to formula feed. It's a complete, it's a new diet. It would be like changing your diet. Let's say you've been a vegan for 25 years and then you go on to eat a paleo diet. Your system needs to adjust and get used to it. So it is normal to have some gassiness. I love it. I think that's such a great analogy. <laughs> that's awesome. So then I think it leads to the next question that a lot of parents have, whether you're breastfeeding or formula feeding, is, you know, past day three, baby's appetites start picking up a little bit. And parents are saying, wow, my baby seems hungry. And they're eating more often maybe than that two to three hour barometer. Is that normal? You know, what are some resources for parents to look at weight charts, you know, what is that standardization of what is normal? And is there a difference between breastfed babies and formula fed babies? So in the beginning, it's normal for babies to eat um, more frequently than every two to three hours. The medical system or care providers tend to tell us baby should, baby should eat eight to 12 times within a 24 hour period every two to three hours. Yes, they should a minimum of every two to three hours, but every baby is different. There's no one size fits all for, um, for babies. So that may look different for every parent. For example, with my son, I was breastfeeding him every half hour to an hour and a half in the first seven months. And this is a variation of normal. It's not an indicator of having low supply. And it's important to keep in mind too, that babies' brains are developing so rapidly in that first year and they're just, they're constantly developing. So they need to be nourished. Um, and then another thing to keep in mind is if you are worried about not making enough, the best indicator that your baby is getting enough is weight gain as well as diaper output. Yeah, those are such great tips. And, you know, I think this is such an important conversation to have. All three of my kids had tongue and lip ties. And so I was so thankful that we had I Help Moms lactation consultants. I always had an iHelpMoms.com doula with me at birth. Those are two of the greatest resources that I can encourage parents to seek out prior to having the baby. So you're not in a, a rush and a, you know, a flurry of activity after. So you already have experts just like Alex right there to help you so that that stress level decreases. We are huge advocates of, of getting expert help here. So then... Yes. You know, Alex, it leads me to my third question that I think a lot of parents have is, you know, we get in that intuitive state of, okay, our kids are gaining weight, the breast milk's coming in, we're getting our feet underneath us, but then sleep always <laughs> comes up for parents. And I love the conversation that we had before this is, I think it is really shocking how often a, a newborn baby wakes up. And I think even in our minds, when we take the you know, birth classes. And when we're talking with our birth providers before, I don't know that there's really a way to ever prepare us for that. But again, this is why doulas are such a great advocate for empowering and supporting parents. What do you say to parents who are saying, my baby's waking a lot. Is this normal? The question that we always get. 
it's so funny that you you said what you said about um, not being able to prepare anyone for the newborn sleep because I feel like nobody can prepare you for the lack of sleep that you're going to experience. And yes, it is normal. Um, newborn babies or babies in general are not supposed to be good sleepers um, like we're led to believe. Oftentimes, um, people are asked at their pediatrician's office or their doctor's office, how's the baby sleeping? Babies aren't meant to be... What a bad question. (laughs) Well, it plants seeds of doubt, I think, in parents' minds. And (laughs) it's true. It's a terrible question. But it can plant seeds of doubt in parents' minds. um, And it can cause them to question themselves. Like, am I doing something wrong? But um, babies aren't meant to be good sleepers. They're meant to wake every few hours and this is protective against SIDS. It's the way that they're wired and with developmental milestones and as they grow rapidly, especially within that first year to 18 months, they will be waking frequently. And that's just, that's a variation of normal. Yeah. I love it. I am a huge advocate of doulas, Alex. I have loved connecting with you and I just encourage all moms and parents to know you are worthy of getting support. And sometimes we just need to know that we don't have to struggle. And there is a, an expert, a call away. Alex is right there. She's got courses before the baby comes. She's got incredible courses to help you prepare for the journey that you're about to bark on. But really, the more empowered that we can be um, connecting to experts just like Alex, I think the better the journey is. And that is my last question for you. You know, I talk a lot about I, I Help Moms is... How can we shift the paradigm from fear to fun in parenting? And so in the parents that you have helped, whether it's as a doula or developing a birth plan or after, you know, postpartum doula work, what do you see in those parents that actually have fun and enjoy the fourth trimester? Um, I find that the parents that really look at the world or see the world through their baby's eyes, it gives them an opportunity to have fun with them as well. Um, And just focusing on the good and giving yourself grace and compassion because it's such a transformative time. Um, Giving yourself grace is really important. And also getting support also makes it a lot easier and allows parents to have a more enjoyable experience as well. No, oh, I love it. I'm so grateful. I feel so just blessed to connect with you. And I look forward to staying in touch. Everyone check out Alex's page. Tell them what your IG handle is and where they can find some of your courses, Alex. Thank you. And likewise, I feel so grateful to be here and so grateful to connect with you. You can find me on Instagram at Alexandra Wellness Doula. Awesome. I love it. All right, guys, check it out. I was scrolling all morning, loving everything that Alex was putting out there. Bye, Alex. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.